hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's the w family back again with another video hey how you all doing i hope you're doing well because we are doing fine we are doing good okay so welcome back to another vlogmas today how you all doing i hope you're all doing well and uh, i have a lot to do today like if i tell you a lot i have so 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 many things to do today so today i'm gonna cook and have a lot of food that i'm gonna cook so i'm planning to make um chicken I have to make jello fries, I have to make uh, ngenge moussaka and I also have to make uh, matembele and also have to make pasta so I'm gonna batch cook today because I want to keep this food for next week yeah. so I want to you know cook so many things so that I can at least have some little rest and think about other things during the week, you know, instead for me to be thinking about cooking every single day, yeah? So that's why today I'm gonna cook a lot of soup today. And sad we don't have a goosey in the house or okra or any of that, so I can't make that. So I'm just making what we have in the house, okay? So none of us need to go buy, you know other things so we're gonna use what we have as i was saying so we're gonna use everything we have in the house and try to make the food yeah we're not going down to buy anything so let's just start because me he's standing here talking is not gonna happen anything okay so we have to quickly start cooking now okay so let's start okay I'm adding some uh, chicken chicken seasoning I have some uh, paprika powder so we're gonna add some paprika powder for the color I have some uh, garlic nutmeg two seasoning cubes here chicken seasoning cube and maggi seasoning cube pepper seasoning and jimbo salt cayenne pepper Mustard here. Mustard. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna add some oil. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven. seasoning cubes here onion bay leaf nutmeg garlic So here I have uh, spring onion and celery, all pepper seasoning, jimbo, and also some salt. So now I'm gonna allow it to boil for some minutes and then after I'll be adding water. Make some spaghetti for her. And chopped uh, onions. Okay, so I'm gonna check on the chicken now. It's been boiling for just a few minutes. You can see there's still some water inside. So now I'm gonna add water so that it can cook properly. So I'm adding some water now. So I'm gonna leave it to cook until the meat is kind of soft. Then I'll make the sauce. Okay. So here, I'm gonna put the, um, the beef, minced beef. Okay, so now I'm gonna add uh, this uh, spaghetti bolognese sauce. A full packet of it. I 
add half of the tomato croissant. So I just added half. So now I'm going to add some water and I'm going to leave it to cook. So I'm going to reduce the water. You can see looking so yummy. I actually did not add any salt or anything else because the spices the fruits already have enough. So I did not add anything because I'm gonna try to give a baby Chloe a bit, you know, when I make pasta so she can also be eaten. So that's why I did not add anything. But yeah, so here I'm gonna boil the ngai ngai. You guys can see. So I'm gonna boil it small before I put it in the the chicken and the stomach that I'm making. So I'm gonna boil the ngai ngai now. Right, so now I'm gonna fry the chicken and I'll also be frying my kayabu for so now I'm putting palm oil here to fry my kayabu. So I have my kayabu here, I'm gonna fry them. the chicken bites inside here So now I'm gonna take the matembele and I'm gonna fry it. Okay, guys so now i'm gonna put uh, in here i have uh, onion i have uh, tomato i have red bell pepper i have uh, garlic uh, bay leaf and some seasoning cubes so i'm gonna fry this so i'm gonna add um, spring onion and uh, some nutmeg here So I'm gonna take a little of this tomato, just a little, you can see, come up.
So now I'm going to transfer the sauce in here. To rest it with some little water. So now I'm going to use the palm nut cream, I'm going to cook it small. Okay, so now while the palm nut cream is uh, cooking there, I'm going to put the other things for so I put a green bell pepper and some garden egg. I'm gonna add the fish. And then I'll be adding makayabu. I'll be adding some makayabu and uh, mama, please now, come on, come on. I'll add some makayabu and beef. I'm gonna add one maggi cube and one chicken uh, seasoning cube. The uh, jimbo. Some salt and of course we're gonna add some water so now I'm gonna allow it to boil to cook very well until it gets done Come here. Come here. So I added more water. So now I'm going to leave it to cook until it gets done. That's it. So I'm also adding a vegetable seasoning cube. Our palm nut cream. So now our palm nut cream have cooked. I will now transfer it. So now I'm gonna transfer it here. So now I'm going to add the ngaingai and then I will leave it to cook. I already pre-cooked the ngaingai before so now I just put everything. So now I'm going to leave everything to cook.
to be very thick. Just look at it. And it's so big for you guys. Just look at it. And the matting belay is also done. I have lots of makayabu here. So, my tembele also done. So now it's just time for me to make some jello fries and then I'm good. fries finally everything is done it's just the jello fries left now so I just put some oil so now I'm gonna put the uh, onion I have bay leaf uh, celery spring onion garlic and some seasoning cubes So I'm gonna add the tomato. I have this uh, left tomato. And I will also add some tomato puree. So now I'm gonna add some salt. We're gonna add all the seasoning. We we'll also add a spoon of jimbo.
So I'm going to allow it to fry for two minutes and then I'll come back and add some other things. So now I'm going to add the chicken stock. And I will also add the beef stock. So both chicken and beef stock. We add some water. So I'm going to cook this now for 5 minutes and then I'll be adding the rice. Okay you guys, so now I'm going to put the rice. I've already washed my rice, so now I'm putting the rice. I'm gonna take some for mama before I put pepper so I'm just gonna take some for our little girl she loves to eat rice so I'm gonna cook her own separate and now I'm gonna add pepper now I'm gonna add pepper. I just added one scot bonnet. So now I'm gonna leave it to cook in low heat until it gets done. So we're gonna keep it in the fridge how the kids are playing right now, but yeah. So this is how Gainga Mosaka is looking right now. Very, very delicious. Ooh. Very delicious. Just look at that, you guys. Just look at. Just look at. So and here we have the matembele. You guys can see how it looks like. So delicious. Like very, very delicious. Ooh. All this yummy yummy food eh? and here we have some chicken so our chicken is very very soft and oof so tender like so 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 tender I'm telling you so I put some menga and musaka for mama here as well I just put some chicken for her and hope she's gonna eat but yeah so I just put some little menga musaka for her and here we have the spaghetti a bolognese sauce so it's just to make some spaghetti whenever you want to eat you know so yeah and over here we have our jollof rice so over here we have our yummy yummy jollof rice <laughs> oh this rice is so delicious guys so so delicious just look at mm, yummy and also have some for mama. I already gave us more to eat. So we have some rice for her here as well. So that's basically everything that I cooked today. So you guys, finally, I'm done with all the cooking. I'm so happy that I could actually make this food because now, this week, I don't need to worry myself about thinking what to make, what to not make, okay? So if we want to eat spaghetti or any other thing that doesn't take so much time, I can easily make that one, but soup and all these kind of things. So we already have it. I'm just going to put it in the fridge and yes we'll be eating it during this week but yet but that doesn't mean i will not make something or <laughs> me and kitchen eh? <laughs> we are like best friends you know i can't spend one week without cooking unless i'm sick 
But if I'm not sick, I'm normal. It's not possible. So I will still cook something during the week. But yes, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just so happy that I made this food. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end today's vlog. I hope you all enjoy watching me cooking. If you're new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and also leave your comment down below, okay? Thank you so much for watching. See ya in our next video tomorrow, okay? Bye.